Hello everybody, it's the Beavis Game here today and welcome back to a video which I or a video series which I thought would be quite good because I've done tutorials on how to record the sims and all that. But I haven't actually done a tutorial on how to fully record, edit and upload, make the thumbnails of videos. So that is what this series is for, to actually teach you guys how to record your videos and how to actually make a video in case you were wondering what the process is and this is just this is also how I make my videos as well so basically you need three sets of programs you need a recording software um, for your um, screen or your display your, like OBS or if you're using a capture card um, like I'm now to just record the screen at the moment then you'll need a capture card to do it um, like the Elgato, the Ava Media and ones like that you will also want voice editors or voice recorders what I'm using right now also um, which I'm using Audacity uh, you can also use Adobe Audition or different programs like that um, and then you also have your editing program so you'll have your video editing program I use Adobe Premiere Pro and then you'll also have your um, photo editing program which is for your thumbnails you can use Adobe Photoshop which I use, you can use paint.net um, also instead of Premiere there's Ve Sony Vegas um, so, um, or not Sony Vegas, Vegas Pro and then there's Vegas Movie Studio whatever it is um, so yeah what we're going to do now we are going to jump in straight away um, we're going to load up the internet page and we're going to go to the very first program that you need to um, be able to start your um, recording process. So this is just the introdu introduction. The actual recording and setting, the actual recording and editing programs will be in the future. So link in the description to those parts when they are out. But let's go to the very first website. It is obsproject.com. Link in the description down below. So this is OBS Studio, what I have done um, a tutorial on, link in the description or on screen um, to that tutorial. It's a very, very good one. I use it all the time, or well, I do use it. Um, it's very good, um, very easy to set up, and it is free. So what you want to do, you want to click on the download. Um, it, what is also good about this, it is compatible with the three major um, operating systems that are out there so you have Linux, Mac OS and Windows. Of course I'm on Windows so I'm going to get on Windows 10 so I will click on so I, if I wanted Apple I'll click on that if I wanted Linux I'll click that so I'd click on that one. So if I do download installer um, so that will download. My internet speed isn't the best so it does take quite a while so my internet is quite slow and also videos haven't been going up recently because the internet has been sort of dying and it's not been working very well and oh, I don't know what's wrong with it so yeah today I've just been able to get back onto the internet and into the recording right again so while this is downloading we will go to our second program is A U D A C T or dash C I T Y team dot org. Link in the description down below to that as well. So, um, basically, this is the audio recording program. It is absolutely free. Again, it is what I'm using to record my audio with right now. Also, you do, I'm saying, I'm, pre I'm not. So you're going to have to have the basics, so you're going to have to have a computer and you're going to have to have a mic or a headset mic. I'm using the Blue Snowball right now. Um, so they're the basics, I'm not sure, I will show you where to get them, but if you want me to, but this is how to actually record it, so I'm not showing you what parts you need, as in physical parts, like, oh, you need a monitor, you need a headset, I'm not saying about that. So. Um, this is just the programs for this part, what you need. So if you click download, 
Audacity 2.1.2, Audacity for Windows, and then it should go down to go down to the installer. Um, yes, yeah, so this is now going and downloading. This is a much smaller file. It will be downloading much much quicker. So yeah, it is now downloaded here. So the editing program. So Adobe. Com. So I'm in the UK, so it will load up the UK version. But so if I go to menu, um, Adobe Premiere Pro. These are the ones that I really do like Adobe Premiere Pro. I use it all the time. Fantastic video editor. So you can get it here. Link in the description down below. You can get a free trial to so trial it. Um, for three months, for a, a month, and that will get so then you'll be able to see what it's like. And if you like it, then you can buy it. Also, there's Sony Vegas Pro, um, or Vegas Pro. So then, also Adobe.com again, then you'll click on the menu button and Adobe Photoshop. Um, so yeah, link also free trial. You can buy it. It's down here. This is a fantastic video ed um, photo editor. It is absolutely amazing. Um, just watch videos on it, and you'll be and you'll really enjoy it. So as you can see down here, we are going to drag each one of these to the desktop by just clicking on them, dragging to the corner down here, and then click on it, drag to the corner down here. So. These are the two programs that we need and that we are going to use to install. So basically, we're going to install OBS first. So you can either right click and open, or you can just double click on it. Um, so this will load up. Yes. You would, Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, because I downloaded it. Um, yes. Next. I agree next install and then this is the speed of this this will all depend on how fast your computer is um, because each computer file if you have a hard drive it will take longer and if you have an SSD which I'm using now um, it will be a bit quicker but then just this little bit at the end it does take the longest part but I will uncheck run because I don't want to run it just as of yet and finish now Adobe uh, no, Adobe OBS studio as you can see here is in stored so we'll keep that there and then if you have this so you can right click or you can just double click on it yes I would like to make changes because it I chose to install it okay next 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 create a desktop icon install and now this will go through the install pro process and it is done like that and I'll click to that to not launch or dust so these are the two programs that we need um, you can just get rid of those now we do not need them empty recycle bin yes delete so that is is so these are the two so you have your record, recording program you have we have our audio recording program we also have our um, Adobe or our video editing and our photo editing program down here I'm just going to add these to the taskbar um, I have I'm not adding these to the desktop because I have to go through the folders and all that but let's just go and add these down here like this and why is that like that? Just unpin that is that's funny sometimes. It does that sometimes, it won't work sometimes, but then sometimes it will. Um so yeah, let's so that is the end of this part guys. Link in the description down below to the following parts when it is online. If you do if you did enjoy this video and it was helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Go down to the link in the description down below to G2A.com for really cheap games. Like, you can get G2A for £25. Like, yes. 
I'm not GTA, you can get GTA, sorry, for £25 or whatever. But if it's on Steam, it is £40, £50. I don't know what that is in dollars. That's I'm not sure what that is in dollars. So just work it out. Um, you do the math for your own currency. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, that would be really appreciated if you could hit the like. Go down to G2A with my link in the description down below. I'll see you again soon. Check my website out as well and have an awesome day. See you guys. Bye.